Hey everybody and welcome to Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady and today we're going to show you how to tie the Mast Bandit. This is a Bob Reese pattern. He's an Umpqua Feather Merchants Royalty Tire. And a cool little pattern utilizing the fish skull fish masks. So we're going to start with an octopus hook here. I'm using a red today just to add a little flair to the pattern. I think typically he does the black colors. So, and then I'm using some UTC thread. This is just the 70 denier in black. So the next material I have here is the Crelex flash. This is the uh, blend pattern, the silver, red hollow silver, silver color combination. I think in uh, Bob Reese's pattern, he uses ripple ice fiber. This is just something that I found to uh, substitute that that matches that material well. So we're going to secure that right on top of this hook shank here and lock it down. And we can come in and clip out our excess material. And then just make sure everything's nice and secure on the hook shank. And we can pull this back a little ways and we're going to trim this short and I believe he likes to trip this up at an angle, kind of gives you a nice profile to the fly. Do something just like so. Missed a few of those. And then we're going to come in with our pine squirrel. It was a great leech imitation, doing it in different colors. It could be a small bait fish. Just a nice lightweight streamer pattern. So I'm going to measure my pine squirrel to go so that the hide rests right at the end of that flash material. So I'm going to lay that in and we're going to give ourselves a little bit of room as we're working forward on this fly so that we can get that fish skull fish mask in. Create a nice base here now that we got that piece tied on. So we're going to come in and palmer some pine squirrel as the collar. So we're going to take a strip of zonked pine squirrel here. Give ourselves a nice tie-in point, cleared some of that hide off. We'll tie that in. At this point I always like to kind of measure just to see where my fish skull is going to end up. Fish mask rather. bit of room there to utilize. So we'll take our thread up, half hitch it off, and that way we can palmer some pine squirrel here. So we're just going to do a few wraps, pulling the fibers back as we go. Two, I'll sneak in one more here. There we are, nice and snug. Come through and capture that. Now we can trim out the excess material there. Cover it all up nicely. And then one more time, we're going to measure our fish skull, fish mask, whatever it's called. Like so, create a little bit more of a thread for that to sit on. And then we can whip finish. Let's 
try that again. Now we're going to take some Zappa Gap or glue, super glue of your choice. Big fan of the Zappa Gap though. And we're just going to lather that up real nice. Good healthy amount on here. Maybe a little too much there. So we can slide our mask on. See it in that glue. All right, now that that glue's dried, I'm gonna sneak in right in front of the mask, just for a little bit of security on this. Build a thread ramp, thread dam in front. Well, it looks like my glue's not quite dry yet. But that's all right, we'll whip finish it again here in front. Keep that in place. And then we will add our eyes. So I always like to position my flies sideways when I do this, just makes it a little bit easier to slide them in there. So for this pattern, it's a size six hook that we're using. So the fish mask is the number four. And then to match that, you got your four millimeter living eyes from Fish Skull. I'm using the earth today. Just really like the earth color. So we're gonna dab on, I'm gonna use a dubbing needle for this. Dab on some glue aid to the adhesive that's already on the eye. We can sneak it on there. And do the same on the other side. While I'm at it, I'm gonna add some glue to the thread wraps up front as well. Drop them on there. And then if you're feeling really frisky, you can take some UV finish and cover the eyes. So I'm just gonna use some Solares then. Just a small amount. Let it kind of settle on there. And then cure it. And the same on the other side. There you are. It's a nice uh, variation of the masked bandits.